Hello, Hofstra fans, and welcome to the WB Mason Coaches Report with head coach Seth Tierney of Hofstra Men's Lacrosse. Morning, coach. How are you today? All right, Nick. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Uh, it, 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 was a, it was a tough couple of games for Hofstra Men's Lacrosse, uh, an 8-6 loss on the road to Villanova, followed up by a 12-6 defeat at home to Binghamton on Tuesday. Uh, how's the vibe of the team, you know, uh, following those back-to-back -back losses? Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty good in a good way, and it's where it should be in a reality way, right? The guys are hurting. Nobody likes to lose. Um, they're working hard, and 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 that, so that part is is the heavy part. Um, but coming back to work on two on Wednesday and yesterday's practice, uh, looking forward to getting out there again today, <clears throat> and certainly the game tomorrow. The guys are you know, they, they're recognizing what's going wrong. Um, they're recognizing what the scenarios are. And now we've just got to get it together. Listen, you know, let me just come out and say that locker room downstairs is a bunch of unbelievable people that are working really hard and things haven't gone their way. Part of that is we haven't made it go our way. And part of that is it just hasn't gone our way. Um, whether it be injuries or turnovers, you know, some things that we can control, some things we can't control. But we're going to continue to go forward. I, I have my strongest beliefs in those guys in the locker room, and we're going to continue. It's not something that we pour a little magic powder on and it goes away. We're going to work at it, and uh, we're going to do everything we can to turn that frown upside down. <laughs> nice. I like that. And you know what? It, it's, it, that's half the battle, I think, is identifying what's going wrong. You sure. know, is that, I think that's where a lot of teams, whether they're, when they struggle, they're, they're looking around like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? But it's good that you guys know what's what needs to be fixed. And you're so you're identifying the problems and then you're tackling those problems. No, no and, question. I mean, we got two two face off guys that are probably two of the better people uh, in the world. And they know that it hasn't been easy, um, <clears throat> you know, through through their trials. Um, you know, we, we were a top 10 team in the, in the country facing off last year and both guys were coming back. I don't think anybody could predict it, predicted this, uh, you know, a couple of injuries to a couple of guys that play on the wings and, and, a, and a little bit of a slump and we got to work our way out of it, right? Nobody is, no, you know, we don't need any, you know, get well soon cards. We just need to get back to work and, and do that. And if we change the facing off and we can cut down on the turnovers, then I think that, you know, we, we, our record would be different. The outcome would be different. The vibe would be different, but that's not the case. So what it is, is not everybody has a good day, a good week, a good month, a good year. Um, and we just got to continue to work at it. And the coaches are, you know, showing the guys, you just continue to work and chip away at it. And that's what you have to do in life. And, and we're going to continue to do that. Yeah. And that's awesome. You know, I being at practice yesterday, it was, it was definitely a good atmosphere. I think with the coaches uh, relaying the instructions to the guys, the guys communicating with each other, some of those injured guys are even uh, suited up a little bit. You know, Sean Payton, he was out there. Sam Lutfi was back for a little bit. He was uh, in some shooting drills. Uh, it must be encouraging seeing some of those uh, veteran leaders, especially Payton being a senior captain back on the field. Yeah, no, I mean, listen, there's one point in time we had four out of our five captains were out. Uh, you know, that's tough for leadership on a, on a year like this. And, and then certainly we got a couple of injuries. Everybody's got injuries, so it's not used as an excuse. Uh, we have, uh, you know, a bunch to some pretty important people, and it's given some opportunities to some younger guys. And, you know, that's where we got to step up. It's some of the older guys, they know that they've had uh, some turnovers at some costly points in the game. Um, coaches are doing, you know, a really good job of, of game planning, trying to keep it simple, letting the guys play. Uh, and there's that fine line of turning them into robots so that they're not in scenarios to maybe turn the ball over versus le learning how to play the game offensively and defensively. And there's a chance that there could be a turnover. And part of that is a learning process. So we're, uh, you know, we're going to continue to, to tinker with this. And again, hopefully we get a few guys back. Uh, and then we just, we, you know, we obviously want to be ready for when the conference starts. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and you got another non-conference game to get you guys ready for the conference. Uh, this on, on Saturday uh, against Manhattan. They're, I think, two and three on the year. They actually played here um, a couple of weeks ago against Navy in, in, a, in a neutral site game. So you got a chance to scout them, but they've had a couple of games since then. What have you seen from the Jaspers and how do you guys line up with them? 
Yeah, they got a great goalie. I think everybody talks when they talk about it. He's, you know, this just tall, lanky. He does a great job of reading shooters' hands and steps, um, and he does a really good job. They've got some good size uh, and, and a very good plan defensively. <coughs> Um, and offensively, they they stayed they they are who they are, and they've got talented players that play with a lot of energy. So we're going to have to be on our game um, to to make sure that 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 we can if we can be successful, uh, it'll be another opportunity for us to go out at the faceoff X and see if we can get our mojo back a little bit each game going forward before conference play starts. Uh, and again, I'm not looking for miracles uh, and, and and complete 180 degree turnarounds, but we just got to start to get a little bit better, a little bit healthier and a little bit more confidence. But, you know, coaching is is a very interesting profession. Um, these are, This is a challenge and we're all everybody's always up for challenges. So the challenge is right now we're three and four. We wish that wasn't our record, but that's our record. And let's take it as a challenge and let's uh, let's see what we can do about it. Yeah, it's a good mindset to have going into this game uh, with the challenge of Manhattan. I, I remember seeing them play Navy really tough, you know, and they've, mm -hmm. they've played some, they've played teams tough this year, even if they're coming off a 9-7 defeat to St. John's, but they're, they still got some, they still got some guys, they still got some players. And I, I liked the way that their defense was set up. Obviously their goalie was is very good. Uh, yeah. I think Manhattan's, it's going to be an interesting challenge coming into. No, no, no question. No question. We, uh, you know, again, we know we're going to get their best punch and, uh, you know, with all due respect to them, it's about us uh, for 90 something percent of it. We have to we have to get better and we have to perform better for us uh, before we start talking about any other opponents. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so it'll be this Saturday at uh, 1 p.m. against Manhattan. The game will be streamed live on uh, Flow Live, WRHU, the Hofstra alternate uh, channel as, the, as an audio only broadcast. Follow everything you can and more of Hofstra Men's Across on GoHofstra.com. For head coach Seth Tierney, I'm Nick Capitos, and thank you again for joining us for the WB Mason Coaches Report.